Summer vacation is getting underway for your kids, but it doesn't mean the learning has to take a back seat. The Onondaga County Library has a very busy summer planned ahead. Joining us now is the Library Communications Director. Let's say hello to Tom Walters. Well, hi, nice to see you again. So good to have you here. Excellent. So talk about the need for parents to fight against brain drain. And it's really important that we got to keep the learning going. So they're going to be off for a couple months. And, you know, rather than just, you know, completely unplug from things, it's important to, to keep kids... Uh, engaged. active and engaged and, and have them read a little bit each day. I think it's important that uh, studies have said 20 to 30 minutes each day and just find something that the your child is interested in if they're interested in Legos or sports or theater. You know, find something that, they, uh, that they're interested in and it'll sustain their love for reading. And right in the neighborhood for a lot of folks is the library. 32 yeah. public libraries in Onondaga County. Uh, just about every neighborhood has one. You could throw a stone and hit one. So uh, right. plenty of places for the for the kids to go all summer long. And big plans the libraries have for our kids. Um, so it's not just heading to the library and going and picking out a book, which is fun in and of itself. Yep. You're also doing some really cool things. Yeah, we've got uh, our summer reading program, and it, uh, this, it's called All Together Now. And it just uh, promotes a sense of unity and community all over. And we have different things that we can do each, uh, at each library throughout the summer. We've partnered with the most. They'll come in and they're going to do a systems of the human body program. And then we also have people from the Rosman Gifford Zoo come in and they do a zoo to you program in which they bring in small animals. The kids get to see what, what they are and they get to ask questions to the zoo uh, employees. And it's... Uh, it's even things like um, uh, there's a thousand books to, to read before kindergarten program for the younger ones. It's, uh, it's a goal-oriented program in which you try to get the kids to read a thousand books and they can read like one book over 20 times or however, however the parents want to do it. But um, there's goals involved, little prizes, just to, to make them feel like they've accomplished something and that they've gotten a thousand books read before kindergarten. Right, you can't let the learning stop over the summertime. And what the best part about this, this is all free for parents. Oh, completely. Yeah. So if you wanted to go to, let's say, uh, Brewerton one day, Tully the next, they've got programs set up each day. We're going to have, and it's not just learning. There's some fun stuff. They've got like a retro game uh, day at some of the libraries. Um, they've got uh, Pokemon and, and Lego Club set up for kids. So there is reading, there is learning, but it's kind of a fun learning that, that keeps the kids interested in coming every day. Right. What I love about the libraries is you are really up on the trends. So whatever the kids are into, they're going to find that at the library too. Completely. Yeah. And I think a lot of the libraries um, gauge what their neighborhood is into and, and they... Uh, they tailor it to those uh, those kids in the neighborhood. And how do people find out about what's going on at the local library? www.onlive.org. Uh, that, that'll get you uh, to our website. We also, a lot of the libraries have their own Facebook page. So if you go to a Facebook page for uh, Onondaga County Public Libraries or specific ones like East Syracuse, uh, Fairmount, uh, places like that, uh, they'll, they'll have stuff uh, listed. Or you can go into each library. They'll have a schedule for the events that are planned for the summer reading program. You never know who you'll see at your local library like maybe a News Channel and Anchor? Maybe. At the East I, I'm library excited for one. something on July 12th at the East Syracuse Library. I don't want to sort of surprise Stay anybody. Tuned. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tom Walters, always good to see you. And thank you good for filling you. us in. And uh, keep us uh, keep us plugged in on what's going on with our libraries. Always, it's a always. Great, good to see you. Great, great opportunities for parents and their kids. Yep. Thank you, Tom. Not a problem. Other news.